Hey guys, I am Yule Mastery, and welcome to the first game that we'll be playing here on the channel. You'll be getting Let's Plays from me every Tuesday and Thursday at 12 p.m. Pacific Time. Not a lot of YouTubers do Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Plays, which I, I think like it's odd, you know? It, it's I think it's pretty cool and fun to get back to the Yu-Gi-Oh! game. So we're actually starting off with Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duels. I have never played this game before, but I've seen people play it. Uh, I'm not going to be too creative. You know, if you guys want to see me doing some competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! Some actual try-hard Yu-Gi-Oh! Then go ahead on Sundays. I do a live stream called Daniel Duels that goes from 10 a.m to 12 p.m. Pacific time, that's when we'll be, you know, making decks and playing Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh, you know, the, the, the meaty, juicy stuff that goes on today. But for these Yu-Gi-Oh Let's Plays, I'm generally just going to be playing what they give me and, you know, working with the, the game, playing games. Uh, this is actually kind of a flashback. If you're new to the channel, you probably don't know, but this channel, I used to not only do Yu-Gi-Oh content, but I used to do Let's Play, Pokemon, various computer games, but I never really combined them. I don't think I've ever played an actual Yu-Gi-Oh game on the channel, which is odd. you think I would, but no. But now, we are definitely going to be doing some Yu-Gi-Oh Let's Plays, so if that's what you're into, then, you know, hit that subscribe button, and then stay and enjoy. So, this is Yu-Gi-Oh Legacy of the Duelist, as I said before. Uh, we're not just going to be doing Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Doors. I think out of all the big Yu-Gi-Oh! Tubers, I think maybe Team APS did a lengthy playthrough of it. But it's not just Legacy of the Doors. We're going to be doing a whole bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Plays. And we might be jumping around. I can definitely say for my plans right now, which isn't very far. We're going to be doing Legacy of the Doors up to the end of Duelist Kingdom. And the original Yu-Gi-Oh! And then I want to actually replay Duel of Roses because I haven't played that game since forever. I'm not even sure if I was even playing it correctly when I was younger. So, you know, uh, we're going to go ahead and try that and plenty of other games as well. So, we have plenty to do with this game right here. We're going to be going back and forth between this game and other Let's Plays because this game will probably be very lengthy since it has the full story. Or at least, I think the majority of the story of all the series. But, uh... I hope you guys enjoy. Um, it's been a cool minute since I've seen the original Yu-Gi-Oh! And I know I'm committing a sin here. And if you want to crucify me, you want to go ahead and dislike that video. Now, I've never finished watching the original Yu-Gi-Oh! I know. What? What the fuck am I doing? Um, I watched all of GX. I watched all of 5Ds. Who, who the fuck watches Zexel? I, I'm, I'm no offense, but I mean, really. Yeah, I dropped Zexel after like the first major tournament. And I am watching uh, Arc V until it ends. But the original Yu-Gi-Oh! I think once they got to the dragons, I was like... I don't, I don't, I don't care anymore. I don't know. I was younger then, but I don't know. But I mean, I still play the card game. So we're just gonna hop right into it. The video links will vary, and if you're wondering how you guys can, you know, talk to me uh, when it comes to series, because in mail and decks like that, I record both the, the videos. Uh, both Tuesday videos and Thursday's video in one sitting, so I'm not going to be so far ahead that, you know, I'm not going to be able to see your comments and reply to them. So, uh, let's go ahead and hop into it. So, I guess this is just some generic robot guy who just goes through the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! So, okay, alright. Uh, the story of Yu-Gi-Oh! Model begins at Domino High School, where Duel Masters, the hottest card game in the world, is Yu-Gi-Oh! still most popular card game? I mean, it is pretty popular. Uh, was all the rage. Remember when we were in school when Yu-Gi-Oh was the hot shit? Now it's super unpopular. You go to school and you tell your friends you play Yu-Gi-Oh, then prepare to get an ass beating, you know? Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh was the best duelist around, and his friend Joey wanted to desperately learn how to duel as well. So our history of Yu-Gi-Oh Moto starts with Yu-Gi teaching the rules of Duel Monster to Joey as their friend Taya. Did Taya always have that E? Resume Taya? I guess, I guess. And Tristan Watch. Hey, Joey. Earth to Joey, it's your turn. I think I remember that line. Um, uh, isn't it cute when he's thinking? <laughs> hey, Tris, I like how they put that A like he has that Brooklyn accent, all right? Yugi here is teaching me how to play Duel Monster. Art is really all of his typing really like that? Okay, sure. <laughs> Drooling Monsters? Ah, ha, 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 ha. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I guess they call it Duel Monsters, but the classic make fun of the games. You gay ho or something like that. So, sure, why not, Tristan? <laughs> Duel Monsters, you Nimrod. Nimrod? Who calls someone Nimrod these days? <laughs> They've been at it for hours. Joey's starting to get in the hang of the game, but Yugi's like an expert. I'm going to try to do some voice acting. I can't guarantee anything, but I'm going to try. <laughs> okay, Yugi, it's time to duel. All right, so... I guess I'm playing as Yugi and I'm dueling against Joey. Now, let's see what they give me. Oh, so, so you're going to teach me how to duel. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> this, this episode might be a little bit longer because if they're going to hold my hand this, then mm, all right. Wow, 
What a string, <laughs> stirring intro, sure. The robot, I'm just calling me, I'm not gonna really say all that. Should sort of spin a tail, okay? Greetings, duelist, I am the robot, part of the virtual game center. I've been programmed to teach you how to properly duel it, duels and best practices. But there's a lot you need to learn. Like, I seriously doubt I'm gonna learn everything I need to know about Yu-Gi-Oh here in this one duel. I mean, what about, you know, Synchro and Xing and, you know, Pendulum Summit? I mean, it's interesting that they have the Pendulum Scales as if you were really going to do that in this era of Yu-Gi-Oh! So, so let's get started and walk you through the basics. In this scenario, you'll be taking the role of the legendary Yu-Gi-Moto. I mean, is Yugi himself really that legendary? Not right now, but alright. Facing off against the not quite as legendary jo Joey Wheeler. I mean, Joey is Joey, you know? <laughs> oh my god, look at this hand. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah, Monster Zones, we know all that. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna read all this. You guys know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> if, if you don't know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh and you need to channel, uh, I'm not really the one to be teaching you Yu-Gi-Oh. So I'm just gonna be playing like playing. Oh, oh, and now you're gonna tell me. You're gonna tell me what card to play. All right, this game needs to stop holding my hand. Uh, I mean, do I have a choice? No, I have to select set. What if I say summon? No, no, I have to say. Wow, all right. I mean, I know the dragon has that booty, but okay. All right, so press backspace to open the phase menu. Really, really? Can I like right click? Yeah, uh, yeah, I can right or left click. I think I have my click switched around, but yeah, the point is I can click it. I'll say, do I really have to use the keyboard to duel? Uh, as you guys can tell, I am on the computer, which they recently put in. Cost me 20 bucks to get this damn game, so hopefully it's worth it. So is this duel just purely scripted? I'm guessing this duel is purely scripted. So. What do you want me to do? Congratulations, you survived your first attack. Ooh, yeah, okay. Yeah, and wound up hurting himself, yeah, because I got that booty and he couldn't handle that ass, so, uh-huh, sure. Wow, like, this duel is seriously holding your hammock. Stop holding my hand. I want to do my own place. Okay, sure, set the call to Hunted, even though people set in main phase two. I mean, I know no one plays Malevolent Catastrophe, but if you set main phase two, then... It's better than setting main phase one because it scares your opponent into thinking you have more cards in your hand when you conduct your battle phase in which they might think that, you know what, I'm not going to go ahead and hit them like this mirror force or as I said, 11 catastrophe and hold off. Then in main phase two, you lessen the cards in your hand by setting more, you know, but this game, you know, I, I can't do whatever I want. Okay, so wait, you want me to put this in attack position? Sure, why not? Am I going to crash into it? Okay, okay, so I'm just going to do more damage. Sure. So I'm going to summon this Ken dog, and I guess because of my banner, all right? All right, so let's go switch to battle phase. So, does it give me a boost? Okay. This card is so old <laughs> that I didn't even know. Yeah, I gained an additional 200 attack during battle phase. Awesome. It's like, oh my god, stop holding my hand. I, I, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I mean, I get it. It's, like, it'd be cool if I could just skip the tutorial, but it won't let me. So, awesome. Oh, no, it's in your turn. I got it. Okay, and then I'm guessing Joey's gonna have some way of destroying my monsters in which place I'm gonna activate Call of the Haunted, right? No, no. Wow, Joey's already going on a defensive. Sure, why not? Okay. Alright, Joey doesn't stand a chance. Let's clean his clock. Let's clean his clock. Who says that? Okay, sure. Alright, so, I mean, I have two level four monsters. I can exceed something? <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna tribute. Sure. What does this card do? I can send one of these to the top card and target one monster. But... Sure. Okay. All right. So, must tribute a monster. Do I get to choose? Why would I tribute the stronger monster? I, it doesn't get. Of course. Uh, yes, I got it. Do I have to do the dog? No. It, yeah, I have to do the dog. You won't even let me let me tribute the weaker attack monster so I can get more damage. In. Nah. Nah. All right. All right. This is the great Yugi Moto, right? I'm playing as the great Yugi Moto. Okay, yeah, I can trigger this effect. Uh huh, yep, I can go ahead. I already neg from tributing, but now I'm going to. I'm well, not technically neg, bring even out, but I mean, it's not even worth it. I'd rather just hold on to my resources and just get the damage in, but sure, why not? Is this something worth coming? Okay, because I'm going to. I like that. Oh, now I'm going to activate Call of the Haunted. Sure. Can I go for game? Like, is it. Is, I'm not doing the math. I could do the math, which ironically, I want to be a math teacher. No. Oh, yeah, now I have to click yes. Okay. They're like, you have to. Okay. Well, this is 18 plus 12, so that's what? 3,000 plus 24, it says 54. And then I guess perfectly with the rush reckless? No, I think I'll be 100 short still. So, no. 
Sure, we'll activate this. All right, next duel, I won't get my hand out. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Sure. I said, I did the, yeah, now we're ready to attack. Sure. Was this dragon only 11? Why did I think it was 12? Or was it 13? I can't even see the attack on art. I'm guessing 13 because I just gained 700, so yeah, I guess that is game. Yeah, it's perfectly game. The only reason why I didn't think it was game and thought it was 100 shorts because I thought this dragon was 12 and not 13. Yay, I win! Hoo! Hoo! That took all the skill in the world. Alright. What? A card that powerful totally? You asked me out. I don't think I played anything too powerful. I mean, that, that tribute summon dragon in this area is pretty strong. I mean, 2400 for one tribute? Nah, I'd rather stick for summoning skull, but yeah. Alright. <laughs> Whoa, you stink at this game, Joey. He's better than you, Tristan. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> you did fine, Joey. I just have better cards. Ah, <laughs> uh, isn't that Yu-Gi-Oh for you? It's not, you know, yeah, I know. I know, Joey. You're playing with your little red-eyes deck. It just happened to be that I have Zodiac, so fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, Joey. <laughs> The grab owns a card, <laughs> owns a game shop, and I get all the best cards from him. Wow, all right. <laughs> I'm that 1%. <laughs> Your own <laughs> game shop? What are you waiting for? Let's go. Aren't we in school? Like, are we in school over? Are we playing during break? Like, what were we going on? Like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay, maybe I can even get my grandpa to show us his super rare card he's got. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't know that someone was listening on the conversation. Someone who was looking for a very rare card to add his collection. Okay, okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. We're at school. I don't think Kaiba goes to school. Like, it's been a cool minute, but how did Kaiba overhear this? Where where were we at where Kaiba could overhear this? Because I don't, I think Kaiba's older. I think he's gone out of school unless he's the same age as you. I don't remember. But the point is that just weird and stop eavesdropping on my conversation, boy. All right? <laughs> So yeah, 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 got achievements. <laughs> All right, hard of the cards. I mean, not really. It was a scripted duel. How's that hard of the cards? Whatever. I got Joey and Joey's deck and some signature card. Blah blah blah. Who cares? All right, I got it. How do I exit out of this? Okay, sure, sure. I get rewards and everything. All right. So, I mean, the video's already 12 minutes. You know, I'm gonna call it here. I'm I'm not going to try to keep these videos too long because if I do this, then it's gonna reach to like 20 minutes. You guys don't watch. I'm gonna try to shoot for 10 to 15 minutes videos. So I'm sorry that this video was literally just them holding my hands, but we're gonna take it all the way through, people. We're gonna take it all the way through. So hopefully next do we get to actually the Pharaoh versus Kaiba, the heart of the card. Oh, I guess they're at, they're saying that's the next episode. Sure. All right, something to do with me just blittering my pony with Zodia. So I guess we'll find out next episode. So like I said, come back Thursday at 12 p.m. Pacific time and then every other Tuesday and Thursday at 12 p.m. Pacific time to get more, you get less plays. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications. And I am looking forward to giving you guys Yu-Gi-Oh! content every single day. So thanks for watching, thanks for support, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.